she paid up for this see she already showed it i'm gonna have to edit that so you don't see it yet what's up y'all man we're having fun this morning it is just now nine o'clock we've already hit one yard sale in uh, 40 miles west of where we're at and a estate sale and we're in the hole about what $125 for the day but now it's time to eat breakfast at one of Nashville's gyms for uh, breakfast dining here at uh, Wendell Smith so we're gonna get our grub on and then um, maybe go over to the bins and then I'll kind of show you a haul of what we've got so far here in just a little bit two eggs I didn't really want biscuits and home fries so instead of biscuits and gravy I just got home fries and told them to pour gravy over everything don't laugh at me I may be weird but it tastes good <laughs> let me finish eating so we can get over to the bins our estate sale hall this morning well, we did yard sale and estate sale I'll start with the yard sale a couple highlights um, I got this book for 50 cents um, to scan the barcode. It's not in the best shape, but it's okay. It's an electrical code textbook from 2017. Uh, sells as high as $75. Average is about 50 to 65. So not bad for a 50 cent book. And then I got a high set exam textbook, 75 cents. So this one costs more than that one. That's worth uh, 50 to 65 dollars this one which costs more is uh, worth about 10 bucks to 15 bucks but has a pretty high sell-through rate and that's 10 to 15 plus shipping so i can turn that over but it's just funny to me that um, they probably just like just throw a sticker on it it's 50 cents 75 cents whatever they don't know what it's worth then we got several clothes got another curling iron this is another um uh, hot shot tools which is real similar to like helen of troy probably the same company so not a bad one all right now for the estate sale find before i walked out the door i added in all of these world book encyclopedias um, she gave them to us for ten dollars the the set is missing one book letters l and m um, but it has the whole rest of the set they sell for about ten dollars a piece fairly regularly so i have to decide what i want to do because they sell a lot better as a set so if i can find um, the correct book l and m then i can probably buy it and sell the set for a couple hundred bucks which um, you know we'll see it's probably better than trying to part it out and wait forever to sell it and then got a ninja turtle plush um, don't know much about it there's not a tag but it's clearly old as crap and uh, everyone loves donatello because he's the smart one and i got a a bunny plush it's almost easter it needs cleaned up uh, the brand is gunned which i've had some luck with in the past i don't know if that's really good or not but um figured i'd grab it i think it was more of a throw in and i got several little things like uh maps of the holy land i got two of those um, several postcards from overseas I got a American best pocket dictionary uh, things like that always sell really good the mini books got a New Testament and new translation uh, pocket Bibles are also pretty good go-to's and this one definitely has some age to it a few other knickknacks in here scissors keychains uh, Newsweek magazine placeholder newspaper placeholder uh, you know back your, your grandmother had one of these probably there's some matchbooks in here mostly little stuff i did get this uh, tea kettle it's a revere wear it's not the best one but it's the larger one but these average 15 maybe 20 because it's a little bit newer but probably 15 bucks no matter what size they are and then oh i also picked this up after i bought the encyclopedias i went back and paid four dollars 
for this book, uh, Who's Who of Religion. These Who's Who books, especially the older ones, bring in, uh, there's one that's a Who's Who of Law that sold for 95 bucks. The others average 50 to 75. I feel like um, there was no Who's Who of Religion anywhere on Google or on eBay. So this could be really rare, but I think I could price it around 75, maybe more. I'm gonna probably get on, um, oh, what's the site that I was? Y'all probably know, cause uh, ADH Dave talks about it all the time, Worth Point. Worth Point is a site I can probably look it up on and find something. I can also get on Terra Peak. And then the wife bought a purse. Oh, do you want to get in the car and show them the other thing that you bought for yourself? Hold on, y'all. We uh, give you a hint. Giddy up. But this was, she paid up for this. See, she already showed it. I'm going to have to edit that so you don't see it yet. Just just hurry up. Just bring it. It's okay. Da, 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 da. So she got the Care Bear. And cabbage. Did I say Care Bear? Yeah, you did. Cabbage patch with his boots, his hat, all of his accessories. Only thing he's missing is a diaper. So as long as he don't shit his pants, I think we're going to be in great shape. <laughs> and then, um, same mistake there. I got some neat stuff here. Harold Forged pliers. Here's some um, fullers made in America. A couple nice pair of scissors. Several nice knives. Um, on probably 10 15 bucks a piece on the knives and then this is from my yard sale this morning basically an entire bag full of jeans these are all name brand jeans in here that are no, no capris no cutoffs a few that are um intentionally distressed and, and a pair of racing jeans all the jeans were a dollar fifty racing jeans were two bucks but um that is it for our yard sale and estate sale haul that we picked up before 9 a.m. breakfast. We are exiting the Goodwill bins, and I swore I was just gonna come in here and only look for big stuff, which I kind of did, and <sighs> that I wasn't gonna spend a lot. But inadvertent, you go ahead. inadvertently. I um, you go ahead. Okay. I spent uh, about $110. I'll let y'all. Sorry. I have to get out, get out of somebody's way. And we're walking back here to the car. We'll start going through some stuff. All right. We just got out of the bins. This was a huge load. I really didn't want to do this, but I don't think we got a lot of items. We just, some things are heavy, like this eye rocket. It's got some distress on the handles here, but um, these springs right here. $25 plus shipping. There's an extra set of springs here, $25 plus shipping. If I sell the entire thing with the extra springs, I can get about $95 plus shipping. I would probably take a little bit off for the damage, um, but I may not sell it. These little knobs here, $10 if I take off four knobs and part them out. I think that might've been free shipping, but not bad. These pads here sell for about 20 bucks a piece. So I could part it out or I could just take it apart, but um, we're gonna try to get that in the car first. Oh, she's a lot better at that than me. Powerline Century Karate Pad. If you see these, you can pick these up. They're easy to ship. They're relatively lightweight. I can actually just put a shipping bag, a large shipping bag around that. Um, probably get 10 bucks out of this plus shipping and found a whole stack of Atlanta Falcons bird pennants all brand new price tag nine dollars a piece um, I mean they weigh nothing these these probably cost um, I'm gonna say these are about maybe 12 cents a piece at the bins rate and I can probably flip them for five but sometimes they sell for full price I got a decent Easton baseball bag. Someone tried to sell it at a yard sale for three dollars, but it ended up at the bins for a dollar uh, thirty-nine a pound, eighty-nine a pound. All the zippers work. There's some crud on the inside, but I can clean that out with a wash rag. These are going to sell for about fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, this style bag you can fold in half. Pretty compact. 
does have a little bit of rough spot but i could strip it in the laundry if i want to and it doesn't take much time or effort all right i got a margaritaville tervis cup a lot of times and you'll see here in a minute i take these tervis cups and throw them away and i put the uh, lid in my basket for when i find good ones but uh margaritaville um now is a it's always been a good seller but still a little bit better now that jimmy has passed five nights at freddy plush um pretty good shape could use a little washing 15 to 20 bucks this is another plush i found this little one-eyed dude i i don't know who this is but um He's got a $60 price tag on him on eBay with very high sell-through rate. All right, I got a couple of uh, Marvel, you know, Skylander, Disney, Infinity, whatever, Madugis. Um Got some of them on eBay, so usually when I find them, I just start adding them together. Um... This is a, I don't know what this is, a Lightning McQueen steering wheel. The light was on, so it works. So, you know, whatever it is, it's probably worth something because it's Lightning McQueen. Turvis lid, threw the cup away. This is an AT&T set of cordless phones. Probably would not have picked this set up, except that they're at the bin, so they're super cheap. And inside of it are a bunch of Wi-Fi extenders. So I went to, usually there's plugs on the poles here. I went and plugged them all in to make sure that they light up and I'll probably sell them maybe parts only or something like that, but uh, most likely uh, a good buy. A um, plastic carpet knife. Anytime I find something that's brand new, I tend to pick it up when it's sealed. It'll sell eventually. Same thing here, good cook, um, turkey basting, you know set easter's coming up someone might want to do a turkey or a ham this would work for either one so i grabbed that another turvis lid threw the cup back picked up the lid those little ones are hard to get too now this is getting into some of the fun stuff here i got a harry potter hufflepuff flag no clue what this goes to but it's from universal studio from the park from the wizarding world it's not broken i checked the bottom of the stick to make sure it wasn't like snapped off or something but that's probably got some good value to it and then another disney disneyland official like park uh mickey mouse with the sheriff dude a uh, pin pin back on it that hat disney hats tend to sell good but i'm sure that sheriff pin's probably worth 10 bucks also a couple little like a tupperware two-third cup measuring cup a um this is a foley stainless measuring cup found a, like a vintage this may not be vintage it says taiwan but that doesn't always mean anything but a cheese cutter i may end up throwing that away but it's pretty much weightless this was a bag of ac power adapters so you know sometimes i keep those because you find things especially at Goodwill, they're missing the adapter. So now I have a bag of them. I can just add them to anything most of the time. And then a hand puppet, medical nurse. These are always good. Could sell that to a hospital or something, but um, I forget the brand that's in there, but it's pretty good. Um, puppets are always good to pick up, especially plush ones. Uh, the wife found this, just like vintage Igloo cup. It's always good. And then I gotta put this back together, but collapsible WWE ring it's for um, Performance Center. So not a bad find. I used to pass them up all the time until um, ground shipping started. Now it's not a bad one to get. I did find one tailor-made head cover. Actually, still has the tailor-made tag on it, and I believe that rotates. Yep that's money guys that's money that is money 12 15 dollars i don't know if that tag it could be worth more for this universal i got a another aladdin cup aladdin cups sell good 10 to 15 bucks this is vanderbilt vanderbilt stuff tends to sell at a little higher rate 
they, they invented trains starbucks steamer cut super awesome fine needs a little cleaning but you know dishwasher safe i think so probably 20 bucks some lady asked me if i wanted these sure i got some nerf guns whatever and then uh, ac adapter i'm gonna be honest i'm not really sure how that got in my buggy but it's a hp which is still a super popular brand of laptop so that will probably sell um got my wife some clothes pins and then i was gonna put this back and forgot you know it always falls to the bottom of the bin but this is 12 miniature glass vials from Buticon. so i guess you fill them up with you know liquids aromatherapy i don't know they're empty maybe it would be good maybe i can put my logo on them and give everyone many shots when we go to the 127 later this year and i mean many many shots they're <laughs> tiny don't laugh at me don't laugh at me pull one out pull one out let's show these are, look guys for those of you that don't know we're going to be at the 127 sale with the 2 i think it's a 2 guys podcast reseller rally so i can take these vials i found and we'll give you all many shots what do you think vodka tequila rum we could even do appleton like true jamaican mm -hmm. anyway leave me in the comments below if you want little mini shots in these vials for that 127 after party <laughs> joking not joking and then i picked up this bag i didn't see what was written on it and that's how i picked it up and i went oh crap xbox controller with a dual charger which i need because i have one that doesn't quite work but i do have a power adapter somewhere for it so that's a super nice phone it's, it's weird because you've ever been to the bins the horde the horde the 30 40 people that wrap around them when they come out new they had already um they had already swarmed and uh apparently no one grabbed the white fedex or post office priority bags they just like it doesn't matter a pair of set of headphones whatever you know it's in a bag so it's got to be nice a vintage i think vintage swing line hand plier stapler and then um i found a set of poker chips and these are really nice quality i started doing a poker tournament recently and i thought well maybe i should get nice chips for myself well lo and behold here are some and then i found some more that i literally had to dig out of the bottom of the bins and i use the top of some puzzle because all people do is throw them puzzles away but all kinds of chips so i'm gonna try to find labels to put on these just you know to have monetary value and then this is a knuckleballer i rubbed the wife's back on that while we were in there i'm gonna use that on my legs because they hurt don't forget this oh yeah and i dug this out of the bottom of the bins i'm telling you all the bottom of the bids are dangerous especially if you're not wearing gloves but um you find cool stuff this is um a boy scouts boy scout handkerchief holder you know those usually any boy scout stuff sells for 10 to 15 because you can't really find them anywhere you gotta order them online and people run out got a lego movie i got several of these lego dvds i'm just gonna try to lot them up after i collect enough of them this is for me best business quotes so i'll sh i may share some of those in future videos some of them are pretty cool um this is a vintage ge made in america iron it's gonna sell for about thirty dollars plus shipping i think i'm gonna do forty dollars free shipping i was kind of figuring that out in the store but i did plug it in and test it and it works fine heated up really fast Here's a 1995 Sheffield school box. I will say no to drugs. So just a simple school box, but vintage. So, you know, like you used to hold your pencils in, but it does say I'll say no to drugs. So a lot of times that stuff sells good, even though I haven't sold much of it and I have a lot of it. I don't know what this is, coaster, but it's a Nintendo controller. So I picked it up. <coughs> i inadvertently got a ball of yarn so if any of y'all have cats and want me to send that to you all right and this is what i think is the there's like a little salt and pepper shaker my mountain dew but don't forget this. your papa bear oh coaster. yes papa bear um car toaster now, this <coughs> excuse me was a cigar box it's actually super nice beware of all imitations slide in lid 
outside of that being a, probably a ten dollar cigar box i got a sealed um earnhardt senior deck of cards um i was gonna scan these and didn't but walking dead playing cards target only a pretty nice steak knife some poker chips but in the very bottom of the bins and i dug hard y'all some lego mini figs i think these this one may be black panther and this one um honestly not sure i don't know my mini figs but i found a couple mini figs i found a little lego batman helmet <coughs> i found a set of keys couldn't maybe not worth anything but they don't cost anything either so we'll see pick them up take a shot if not so more a collectible christmas ornament new with tags from Coles, but whatever i can take that off a grandfather ornament i have four grandkids so i thought maybe i'll like that but i honestly haven't read it yet another mini measuring cup an echo and um and several it was like this I think this was maybe a lego i don't know something that looks like a lego bottle opener handy and then several more poker chips all right now let's go to the wife's cart i'm gonna go through all this she found several things that are cool though strawberry shortcake vhs's um a infinity conair infinity pro quick twist <coughs> excuse me y'all we picked this up like a ancient like caveman ibm think pad it is in rough shape but in this crappy shape even if it don't turn on we can get 80 dollars plus shipping for parts only so we'll clean it up a little bit and make it look nice Oh, I didn't know she picked up yarn. I might have grabbed some. I found yarn everywhere. <coughs> mm, got something in my throat, y'all. And then this was a Vera Bradley backpack in pretty good shape. Obviously, it was empty when I found it, but she filled it full of clothes. And then, what is this? It's a seat cover for the baby in your shopping cart. Oh, sweet. Shopping cart baby cover. Is that going to be for your consignment sale? Yeah sweet big things for consignment sales are easy so. and this is my favorite thing we're not gonna that's just got clothes in it yeah yeah this lady came by and hold on let me do this first okay do that first we got light bright toys tools um i try to open this i just don't want to spill them oh no all right those are just the pieces you put in light bright so they sell for about 15 dollars plus shipping so this lady comes by and she says do you got any kids young enough to use this keep going and i said yes we have several and so then me and andrew decided to dig through the spot we, we dug hard through one of those blue bins all the way from right side to left side and about every three feet we found a new one but we were able to find the entire set Yep. that goes with this they're numbered um, like, yeah numbered one to seven vtech jiggly giggly fishing set yep jiggly giggly fishing set with a little uh holder to put your fish in every time we found one she just started laughing a little bit more and i'm like who's gonna use this you or the grandkids and then fisher price penguin i don't know <laughs> we've had good luck with all things penguin here lately oh that's our receipt let's throw that away damn it and then these little guys, this is this is Garfield and Odie, little miniature ornaments. Miniature ornaments. I'll have to look them up, but I couldn't pass up pass yeah, them up. A whole bag of them. Yeah. Probably can't lose. It's less. I bet it was less than two dollars. Yeah, I bet it was. Yep. And then some little springy thing, probably for a car seat bouncer or whatever. All right. All right. Well. Oh wait, you got to tell them about this guy. Oh yeah. I guess we're saving up the Halloween costumes. So, um, it's basically, it's a Halloween costume. If you want to ride a bull, it's one that blows up and attaches to you, but she did uh, plug it in or whatever, and it does work. So I thought, well, I guess we can grab it and find somewhere to store it for Halloween next year. And, and then this will keep us oh, cool in the summer, yeah, and it does a Dory, work. A Dory fan. All right. All right. Well, that, that's pretty much it, y'all. We're going to go home, probably just take a nap. Oh, and we got to go to the post office. Thank you for watching my content, for 
viewing my channel. If you like what you've seen today, please, if you can, please give me a sub, hit that subscribe button, go over and hit the thumbs up, let, letting me know you like the content. That also helps my content get promoted in the algorithm that is YouTube to help me build subscribers. I'm on a push to hit 1,000 as quick as I can this year. I'm close to or just over 300 now, which is super exciting. And uh, ring the bell, the little bell symbol. Hold your finger on it and it has a drop down. Click all so that you'll get notified whenever my content drops. This has been a fun Saturday morning. It's just now after lunch. We're going to drop some stuff off at the post office up the road and then uh, go home and, and rest for the day. That, that may be it for the weekend. My name is Andrew. I'm with my wife, Karen. We are good water pickers and we appreciate you watching my channel, watching our channel, my channel, or it's probably my channel, but we both <laughs> participate sometimes. <laughs> all right. You all have a very good rest of the day.